Hey everybody. Welcome to my fishing trip to Strawberry Reservoir. I had just set up my camera. It was a beautiful day. There was ice around the rim of the lake. There was steam rising up off the water. And it looked like a fish was about to bite. There it is. Felt the strike. Set the hook. Started reeling in the fish. I could tell from the fight and the drag that this was a big one. I was hoping to catch one of those legendary 26 inch cutthroat trouts out of Strawberry Reservoir. But you never know, shore fishing is hit and miss. This big boy surfaced a few times and I could tell that he was gonna put up a fight. It's always so exciting when you set that hook and you're getting him in but you're always worried that you're gonna lose him at the last second. So I wanted to land him a little gently, but I didn't have a net. I couldn't get too close, so I just yanked him up onto the shore. <laughs> I think he's going to be okay. But trust me, he's going to go through a little worse here. I don't want to spoil it, but uh, this guy gets away from me a little bit. Here I am showing him off. It was a cutthroat in uh, Strawberry Reservoir. You're not allowed to keep anything between 18 and 22 inches or 15 and 22. Uh, as a general rule, I like to release any cutthroats that I catch there, so they can grow to be those huge 26-inch cutthroats that you hear about that are legendary in those Utah waters. So I got a look at him. He was hooked pretty deep. Wasn't quite gut hooked. I caught him on a worm uh, early in the morning, but I needed a little help to get that hook out, so I, was, uh, I went off camera here to grab my pliers and Get, it, get the hook out as humanely as I could. And I bring him up and show him off like a slippery idiot. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Dust him off, he's okay. Uh, sometimes they hit the deck like that, but uh, hopefully he'll swim off. This is where you find out if uh, he uh, succeeded at his suicide attempt. Jumping out of my hands from six feet in the air. So he stayed in the water a little bit, kind of <laughs> swam around dazed, but uh, he ended up swimming off just fine. Probably went and told that story to all his friends about how uh, he escaped. He probably did all the work there. He jumped right out of the hands of the giant and slipped his way back to the water. There's just a beautiful shot of uh, that. Uh, this guy didn't get landing him on camera. Camera wasn't running, but I thought I'd show him off anyway. This is another 15 to 16 inch uh, cut, cutthroat trout. Nice little cutthroat. Uh, it was, was, wasn't little. This is big for me. Most of the fish I catch are, you know, uh, less than 12 inches. But this is a big guy to me. It was a cold morning. My eye on my, uh, on my rod kept freezing up at the tip. Uh, but... Uh, Got this guy back in the water to go and tell his friend. I don't even know if it was the same fish. I don't know. Maybe he bit twice. He conked his head so hard that he's like, oh, I'm still hungry. I better grab another one of these tasty worms. But uh, I don't think it was the only guy. He was, these were the only two fish that I caught up at Strawberry that day. Uh, it was a cold day in October. It was about 20 degrees uh, and uh, early in the morning. But it warmed up a little bit when the sun hit the water. As soon as the sun hit the water, no more fish.